I often sit in silence, pondering what life is about, what I should pursue. I constantly question why I'm here, why I have more than some, why I am more fortunate. Most of the world's population does not have the privilege of even watching this video. When I think about that, I wonder why I even let the petty problems of my life affect me. Adversity seems to have the ability of creeping up on us regularly. I won't deny that we all have our own burdens, but I'm simply saying that there is emotional utility in thinking about the people who have it worse than us. Not that we should feel better about ourselves because of their demise, but our ability to imagine their pains and strength to continue should empower us to endure. It seems within our own mind we have the capability to strive for whatever goal we want. I strongly advise that you seek a place within yourself to find the power to succeed at a worthy ideal. Not worthy of other people's approval, but satisfying for you. The satisfaction one can find in appealing to what the heart really wants is not comparable to many other things. As we know now, with success also comes defeat. Failure often brings great pain to us, which is understandable but it is also a path of experiential knowledge that teaches us about what we must do to get better. It shows us why what we love is even worth pursuing. A challenge, something we cannot simply receive. Defeat constantly but bitterly reminds us to keep pushing, to give it everything we thought we had and then a little more. The extra push, the moment where your body wants to give in and quit. The little extra effort, a little bit more passion to continue your pursuit. This is when defeat becomes success when you will not quit. You simply just keep going because you put all your heart into it. Everything you have and more. It is obvious that most people classify champions as those with winning records and rings. Those who win the contest instead of lose. I contend that true champions are those who hold their head high in the shadow of defeat. There is a reason why we keep score, but if you love the game more than that, winning is not limited to the scoreboard. Silence has taught me that I simply cannot deny what I feel. The pursuit of my worthy ideal rests on the deepest feelings I have as a person. A certain feeling I get only doing a limited number of things. Life is full of adversity, but we all can find a spark within ourselves to light a fire. The fire that motivates us to practice when others rest. The fire that builds up our emotions so much they can flow out for what seems like no reason at all. This fire has led me to the cross. It gives my life meaning. What is a game to most is part of my soul. When you are unsure about what you want, stare yourself in the eye and question profoundly what can give your life meaning. At some point you have to make that decision. In defeat, swallow your pride and hold your head high. When you think about a problem that plagues your life, imagine what others have gone through and survived. Success is what you make it. Allow the passion to flow through you. Find meaning in what you enjoy most. Ignite your fire and never look back. For me, it is lacrosse. What is yours?